The stadium will be filled with between seven and 8,000 fans come this Sunday for the Oxford 250. There'll be about 80 to 85 race cars, and they zip around here going 85 to 90 miles an hour. Zooming around the track today, 15-year-old Gunner Rowe is gunning it for us. He's a third-generation race car driver, along with his uncle and granddad. A three-time 250 winner, racing is in the genes. Gunner hopes to qualify on Saturday. Uh, hopefully, I'm just as good as them, if not better, eventually. As a little kid, I've always just, the 250's just been like the Daytona of Super Late Models. Every racer right now thinking about safety after the recent death of Indy car driver Justin Wilson from a head injury. Well, you know, the Indy cars, I think, uh, are probably not as safe as our cars as uh, far as the open cockpit and stuff. But, uh, you know, with the, what we got today with the Hans device and we got the LaJoy seats and, uh, you know, I really feel safe. Uh, you know, and we're not doing on like a track like this, we're not doing 180 miles an hour. Diehard racing fans zoomed in to claim their camping sites as of yesterday morning, five full days before the big race. We'd like to call ourselves professional tailgaters. He and his wife are setting up shop, making the Oxford Plains Speedway parking lot home for a few days, and since 1974, they've only missed a few. What is it about the Oxford 250 that's going to make somebody want to come and camp here for five days? Well, it's an experience. You know, it's, uh, we get a lot of race. When race fans get together, we all. We're all here for the same thing, you know. The cars, the racers, and the speed. Race car drivers, young and old, all said the same thing. Just being in the Oxford 250 is a dream come true. And the winner, by the way, walks away with a cash prize of $25,000. In Oxford, Jim Caithley, WMTW News 8.